hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of uni of ife allegedly we heard that the king surprised as not be surprised shocked uh the wives over with naomi so according to what we are hearing they said the king made this statement that threw them as an off balance uh uh, you know that uh, from what we are hearing, they said after that day, the king celebrated his birthday. The day he used his hand to cut his cake and share. And after all the celebration at Georgia Georgia Center, they said the wives planned something big for him, where they will present their gifts and uh, surprises to him in the palace. They were all preparing for that, waiting for him to return. They said the moment he enters the palace, they told him that we are waiting for you and all of that. He shown them as in the way he told them that uh, he has to spend time with his son, so therefore he will not be able to attend to their as in come out again for their party and all of that. They said the women we are surprised as in they were they were not happy at all. So some of them started uh, making some nasty, nasty statements and all of that. Some said uh, they know that it's because of Queen Naomi, that uh, he's just using Prince Tadenikawa as an excuse, that uh, he know, uh, they all know that it is because Queen Naomi did not attend the party. He wants to go and spend time with Queen Naomi and telling them that it's Prince Tadenikawa. Then they said there was this statement that got to him, you know, that uh, let him be trying now. How possible is it that Wenomi will even return back to this palace? They said, on hearing that statement, the king did not uh, like that statement at all, you know. And they said the next morning, he summoned them and made it clear, very, very clear to all of them that, look, no matter what you think you are spending in the palace, no matter how much you think you have invested in the palace or in this marriage, it is all up to you. Don't you ever think... As in, they said he wasn't pointing to someone particularly, but he was gener generalizing the whole thing. That be no matter who you think you are and how much you think you have invested in this palace or, or me, for the fact that you are uh, against my relationship with Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawa, that you do not have any space in the palace, that you can only fight for the moment and some, uh, very soon, that you pack your load and leave the palace. So, you, no matter what you think you have spent, because you know that this, these women, they are now capitalizing on how much they have spent on the king or in the palace to do some of the things they do. The king made it clear that she can, he can condole all their nonsense, all their whatever they are doing, but you see, when it goes to uh, working against him, Making sure that when Nomi returns back to the palace, that any one of them, excuse me, that any one of them that is doing that should know that she have no place in the palace. Because come rain, come shine, that Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi is the uh, head of the wives. She is his first wife. And they said, ever since this uh, Brazilian seer told the king that he have to treat all these women nicely, you know, that with time they will use their hand and pack and come out from that palace, you know, that he doesn't need to use force on them, that if he use force on them, that they are going to connive with some elders to bring him down and all of that, and it's not going to be good for his reign, that he should try to treat them very nice, you know, but one thing he should not, that he should make sure that he achieve in this life is to make up with Queen Naomi because if he loses Queen Naomi, that he is going to regret it for the rest of his life. That is what we heard allegedly that the suitsier, the Brazilian suitsier, told the king. And they said ever since then, if you watch closely, ever since then, that uh, the king is always about Queen Naomi. They said the kind of seriousness that he is putting towards bringing Queen Naomi back this time around, that he have never tried it ever since Queen Naomi left that palace. And all the women, they are fighting to Tanil to make sure that he did not succeed. If they try their juju, it no work. They go try uh, distraction, it no work. They go try one thing or the other, but yet it is not working. And my prayer is that it is none of their evil plan is going to work. 
So they said the king had made it clear to all of them that he know that they are going to Babalawo, Mamalawo them to make sure that uh, Winomi did not return back to the palace. That he know all of that, but they should know that if you are still in that category, that the best thing you should you should do if you want to remain in that palace and stay married to him is to stand with Queen Naomi so that there will be peace in the palace. But if you are still working against Queen Naomi or his relationship with Queen Naomi, know you that you are going to leave that palace very soon because you don't have a space in that palace. No matter what you think you have spent or what you have done in any way. Hey, my people, they said it wasn't funny at all. That the moment the king made it clear to them that if you if you are fighting against his relationship with Queen Naomi, uh, no matter how you are doing it and no matter what you think you have come to or what you are doing, they said Ashley started crying. You know, that one thought that she had win already. from Because from what we are hearing alleged, they said when, when Queen Naomi was in the palace, when the king had not married her, she was there as a child, uh, side chick. Deceiving Queen Naomi that she is doing traditional stuff for the king. Queen Naomi may not even know that she is sharing the, the king's bowler with uh, her. And they said O'Neill's sisters was, the, uh, was supporting her then, telling her that uh, uh, she is the one that the king loves very much. And I don't know how he was, she was able to uh, pave her way into the king's heart and all of that. But I believe that Juju must be involved. But one thing about Juju is that he get the expiring date. Now that he be like say don't expire, they are now running health scatter, shedding tears every now and then. Every everywhere you will see every in every blogger site you'll be seeing uh, uh, actually shed tears, actually cry this and that. That is because the juju that was working then he be like say don't expire, or maybe uh, the fake love. I don't know how to use it because if someone loves you truly. The person can never stop loving you. Although she is saying that it is uh, Mariam who is estranging the king from uh, her. So they know that things like that do exist. And that is exactly what they did to Queen Naomi and the king. But from what we are hearing now, they said the king and uh, Queen Naomi are now relating very well. As in they are in a good place this time. That if they continue like this, that very soon we will hear a good story from them. You know? And I know that all these Oloris, they don't want that. But whether they like it or not, the king has made it clear to them that they better start being on their side. If not, that they have no place in the palace, irrespective of what they have invested or spent or planning to spend or the post they hold in the palace. Because initially, Ashley thought because she's a Calabash carrier, there's no other person that can do it. But recently, we, heard, uh, we keep hearing that the king employed an Estana priestess to be doing all the things that Ashley are supposed to be doing. And now she is powerless in the palace. So my people, it's always good to be good, you know, because goodness do pay. But when you are bad, hmm, sorry, sorry will be your name. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Please share this video and give it a thumbs up. Bye for now. Love you guys.